Hello again, cellists. How are we today? We're back here today for the last, the second of our performance sessions and the last of all the sessions, which is quite sad because it means we're nearly at the end of the week. But on the other hand, it's performance day, so that's quite exciting. So hopefully you'll find this helpful. Uh, we're looking more today about the, rather than the focus and concentration and fear aspect, we're looking at uh, being centred and grounded so that you can give out creativity and about feeling positive about the performance. So um, you're going to need your cello today. If you want to pause and go and get it, please do. And now we're ready to move on. You've got your cello to hand. So we'll do pace, uh, drink of water, cheers. Here's to a good performance tonight. Maybe after the performance you'll have something a bit stronger. And let's do our brain buttons. And you'll notice when we do buttons, uh, we often have our, have our hand on our tummy. And that's to keep us centred and kind of stable from the core. So just swap hands. Other side, move your eyes around the green buttons. That's giving us clarity. And then again, we're going to use some traditional music for our cross calls. Quite gentle. Quite quiet. I'm not sure if you can hear it. Doesn't really matter. side, getting our brain hemispheres integrated. We must all be really good at this by now. So it's the sideways one that's relevant to today's. We'll see how it feels going sideways. We'll do some back ones. Let's do some knee ones. Excellent. And then we'll just do a wee bit of hookups. We'll be going doing some more hookups shortly. So we'll just take a few breaths and get yourself relaxed. Uh, unhook and cross, uh, put your fingertips together, just relax them down. Okay, so just think about our number from 1 to 10. How are you feeling about performing today? Um, I'm lucky I'm not performing tonight, but if I was, I'd probably be about 5 at the moment. Okay, so the next bit is uh, the opening up of how it feels to be performing. And so this today, I'd like you to actually pick up your cellos, go out of the room and just think, okay, this is my performance and walk into the room, sit down at your seat and just play the first few bars of your piece. Not for very long, but just play that and then come back to it. So pause now 
and then come back within a minute, minute and a half. Okay, so you've done your uh, little practice. Now just uh, think what it was like. How did you feel when you were performing? Uh, did you have any butterflies? Think about your uh, physical posture, whether your legs were uh, uncomfortable, neck and shoulders, tense, wrists, hands. And how positive do you feel about it? Did you feel that did you like what you played? Uh, so just get all that in there. And then just walk around the room and see how relaxed your walk is. Can you see well? Can you hear? All that sort of thing. And then laugh. <laughs> Did it feel forced? Probably. But we'll just we'll do that again at the end and see how you feel. So the first thing we're going to do to help the performance nerves is called a positive attitude balance. And you have points in the middle of your forehead, just above the eye. So you're going to be using three fingers right above the middle of the eye on both hands and pulling out slightly when we get to that bit. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sit in hookups. Uh, so legs out in front crossed, nice and relaxed. And breathing nice and deeply in through your nose and out through your mouth. Now just have a think about performing while you're doing that deep breathing. Make sure the breathing keeps going. And just feel yourself relaxing even though you're doing a performance. Ideally, you would have someone else there to hold your positive points. While you were in this position, but we're going to do it afterwards. So another couple of breaths of relaxation. Put your hands, fingertips together and relax them and breathe again. Now, stay, in, stay seated and put your fingertips above your eye lids. Just a very, very light touch. Rest your elbows on your knees and pull out the side very gently on these fingertips. Now, in this position, just think about your performance and think about any of the things that you feel a bit negative about that you think might go wrong. So, you know, I don't know, dropping the bow, forgetting the music, somebody coming, being in the audience that you don't that you don't really want to hear or just anxiety about the audience generally, shaky hands, all these things, anything that you apply to you kind of allow them to come into your thoughts and park them in one corner together. And keep just this very nice light touch and just keep thinking about the negative things until there are none more that, that you've got them all there. That gives you a wee few seconds to do that. So keep sitting like that and 
you've got all your negative thoughts into a box or maybe in a jar or written down a bit of paper in your mind's eye. So they're all there, collected together. What you're going to do now is you're going to get rid of them. So if they're written down, you could burn them maybe, or you could tear them up into lots of little pieces and flush them down your sort of toilet. Or if you put them in a box, you could bury them, or throw them in the bin, and just basically get rid of them. So just see yourself doing that, go through the motions of doing that. And then once they've gone, they've flushed them away, the ashes on the campfire. You're now going to get a vision of yourself coming into your performance or your job interview or any other stressful situation and everything going well. You're feeling calm, you're feeling relaxed and you're very happy with how you're feeling and the audience isn't bothering you. You're really enjoying playing. Keep holding those positive points until you can get a vision of yourself performing and being happy about it, enjoying it. So in an ideal situation, you would spend as long as it took for that positive feeling to come because we're tied to a schedule we can't keep going but if you didn't reach the point where you felt very positive about it then have another go later before your performance it's really very effective and, and in that case try and get someone to help you so you sit in your hookups and somebody else stands behind you and holds your positive points okay so that's our positive attitude about the performance uh, we're now going to think about the grounding, centering aspect of it. So the first thing that we're going to do for that part is some of the buttons that we used for the eyes before, but they also help to uh, ground you down the centre of your body. So the first one is the balance buttons. And you put your hand behind your ear with two fingers in the indentation behind. Other hand on the belly button, and we're just going to hold that for 15 seconds or so. This is a good thing to do in a car if you're feeling a bit car sick, because it helps to kind of stabilize you, stables you, stabilize your core and we'll just switch fingers bit sides so again other side behind the ear that indentation in the sticky outy bit at the back of your head just hold that feel yourself getting balanced and then we'll do a little bit of brain buttons again and this is purely for a performance, this is keeping the eye, eye muscles relaxed and again we're centering around the core of our body. And swap hands to the other side. And then we're going to have a good drink of water. And we're going to do the other two buttons. In our seeing balance, we did earth and space buttons. This time we're going to do them at the same time by putting one finger above your mouth, lips, and the other finger below. And you're going to rub those. 
and you're going to put your fingers at the base of the spine and just hold that and just rub. Move your eyes around, up, well, up and down if you like. Let's do that for about 15 seconds. And then we'll swap hands. So the other hand at the base of the spine, thumb and forefinger above and below the lips, and we're just giving them a rub. It's handy to do two movements at one time. And again for around 15 seconds. Okay, so that's the, all the buttons done. Now we're going to do our thinking cap. So if you remember in the listening balance, you start with your fingers at the top and you unroll your ears all the way down to the bottom. And you do that three times. And that wakens up both your ears and helps them to work together. So thinking cap. Check what else we're going to do. Oh yes. I, and then we're going to do the energy on. Oh, so I can feel a yawn coming on already. So you're going to massage your cheekbones or the, um, this muscle in the middle of your cheek. Apologise if I'm touching the microphone there. And just give it all a good rub, waking up all those muscles. And then see if you can get a yawn. Oh, nice big yawn. You wonder. Yawn like a bear. Oh. And just get your face, and that's helping to get energy into your uh, system to do this performance. And then just for completeness, we're going to do the calf pump again from yesterday. Calf muscles are um, often the ones that tighten up the quickest. So we've got the chair to hold on to and you're going to put your feet parallel to each other and you breathe in and as you breathe out you push your front knee forward, keep those feet parallel and feel that stretch in your calf muscle. And relax and then breathe in and forward. In, go forward, in, go forward. Make sure you're not going over your toe. And then both legs. Again, keep your feet parallel and breathe in. Going forward. In, forward, and breathe in, and go forward. Okay, so that's our exercise is all finished. We're just going to go back over our three activities. So we'll start with the walking around the room. So just see how you feel. I feel more like I'm sort of sauntering and quite happy and relaxed rather than sort of feeling a bit uh, Unfocused, I suppose I was before. Um, what else did we do? Oh yes, we laughed. <laughs> so yes, have a laugh. 
And when I just did it then, it felt to me as if I could have actually laughed, even although it wasn't anything any fun. It didn't feel put on or just, it came naturally. And then the next thing is to actually have a go at the performing. So uh, again, take your cello, you're going to pause, take your cello, go out of the room, get into the mode of the performing and come in and play a few bars and just see how it felt different from the previous time. So just pause the uh, video and go ahead and do that. About no more than two minutes. Okay, so that's us back. I, and I hope that you found that you were more relaxed and maybe it was more manageable. So if you're the next time you're doing a performance, which might be tonight, uh, you don't need to do all of those movements that we did if you don't have time. But what I would suggest is that you do uh, the first parts of pace, water, brain buttons and cross crawl and then you also do the thinking cap and the calf pump and then when you're doing your hookups you start with the hookups and then you do the positive attitudes thing and just think through breathing very tightly very lightly out of the hands so I'm really looking forward to hearing you all playing tonight, well those of you who are playing, and it's been a pleasure to be part of the cello workshop online. Um, I would much prefer, have preferred to have been doing Brain Gym with you in person, but hopefully you found some things that would be helpful to you, and do use it. Uh, there should be some documentation online for you to download so that you know how to do the movements. But lots of luck and it's been lovely seeing you all.